Glyoxylate cycle is important for microorganisms, bacteria, protists, fungi, and plants who live when who live on a medium when acetate is the sole carbon source. And this cycle is very beneficial for these organisms because it allows synthesis of sugars from fatty acid without losing any carbon dioxide. This is very important because acetate is only two carbon molecule and if you're losing carbon dioxide the energy it takes to incorporate this lost carbon dioxide again is a lot more costly than just losing one ATP because original tricarboxylic acid cycle you would produce ATP but here instead of losing carbon dioxide you've sacrificed or they've sacrificed ATP production but still not losing carbon dioxide is much much more important for these microorganisms. So this is the modified tricarboxylic acid cycle and the uniqueness of this cycle lies here. Two different enzymes, isocitrate lyase and malate synthase. So the main difference is actually here, this process. So in the beginning it would be oxaloacetate and acetyl-CoA together would produce citrate using citrate synthase it's same and then you would produce citrate into you're going to produce isocitrate from citrate using aconitase and in the process you would add water and lose water but that's not really the important here but the importance lies here so isocitrate is now converted into succinate and glyoxylate using isocitrate lyase and then glyoxylate here is converted into malate but when acetyl-CoA is assimilated using malate synthase. Then this malate then goes back to the normal tricarboxylic acid cycle of becoming oxaloacetate from malate dehydrogenase and the process you would produce NADH. And this succinate, it can be used for anabolic reactions for making sugars or other like amino acid production and so on. So glyoxylate cycle is very important for microorganisms living on or any other organisms living in acetate as the sole carbon source medium.